Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with something a little different. I wanted to share my uh, watercolor palettes and some of the playing that I've been doing. I had a weekend where I was just playing with a lot of watercolor. Watercolor is something I kind of uh, go back and forth to um, when I feel like I need to sort of take a break from um, usual, you know, the usual mediums that I do, uh, you know, I work mainly with alcohol ink, but I love the, um, the flow of watercolor as well. Alcohol ink tends to be very, very intense. Of course you can dilute it, but in general, whereas watercolor is, um, almost more gentle. Um, it's just, it's, it's a bit different. It's a bit more muted. Um, you can build it up of course, but I feel like sometimes I kind of need more of a, um, gentle, softer, uh, flowing medium. So that's when I turn to my watercolor. And then of course, watercolor is much easier to travel with. Um, it's safer. <laughs> and, uh, I do, uh, find that I love to do some simple abstract pieces, um, play in a sketchbook or, you know, whatever the sort of the surrounding, um, inspires or evokes um emotion or whatnot so i thought i would share um this is literally all of it i don't <laughs> have a lot because i don't have the space um but so these are strictly watercolor um i will do a separate video on these these are my kurataki this is not technically watercolor it's um it's like between watercolor and gouache I suppose in consistency and so the colors are a bit more vibrant and I'm having technical difficulties okay um but they're gorgeous and I have made quite the mess in this but I absolutely love these um they're beautiful beautiful and um I'll probably do a separate video talking about these maybe swatching them out just so you can kind of see what the consistency is like but I absolutely adore them and um yeah but those those need a separate video I think because they're not technically watercolor it's just it's a different medium and um it's beautiful so uh the one that I have probably been using the most is this one the essence um they have quite a few different palettes that I am looking at uh <laughs> But as you can see, this is very, very well loved. And um, the colors are beautiful, uh, very much earth toned. They all go together really well. You know, it's it's just uh, the color story is lovely. I, I love it. And I think if I can pull up one of my messes <laughs> here, I can show you. I think that's one of them. Yeah, just to kind of give you an idea of sort of um, the colors that, that come from that and how they all mix in together and they're just, they're really beautiful. I enjoy them. Um, this is another one I did just to kind of see how they played together really. Um, this is one I just really diluted a lot just to kind of see how far I could go with it. This is the one where I was playing with some of the gold leafing. You can see I love this palette, right? It's another one where I use, because a couple of these darker browns are very similar, but if you look closely, they are they are different shades. So it's nice to see how they sort of blend in with each other. And that's just the blues and the greens, which are absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. This is the Essence palette. That's what it's called. If you're interested, it is available on Amazon. So um it's it's wonderful to travel with because it is so compact and i love it so yeah that's one of them that i wanted to share with you and if you could see this desk it is a disaster <laughs> so another one i got here is the uh koi watercolors and this is another lovely compact set comes with a water brush that you can put together and a blotter sponge and uh, lovely rich colors as well. These are really nice to use um, and they also play very well together. I could just show you um, this here. 
to kind of give you a look and an idea of the vibrancy and how pretty they are a lot of these of course you know some are a bit more diluted than others um but you can see you do you do get vibrancy with this palette as well it's not just um sort of a washed down sort of look um, although you can achieve that as well don't think i have anything else from that one <laughs> so I'm just giving you a peek at what uh, what they look like and what they can do. So that is the Koi watercolor set there. Again, wonderful for travel, really handy. So that is that one. Let's make some room here. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Essence palette, was it? I don't recall. Yes, it was. <laughs> so one of the first uh, watercolor sets I bought when I was getting back into watercolor was the Arteza 36 half pan set. Um, also well loved and very messy, <laughs> but a nice set. I do like it and I do use it quite a bit. I still use it. Um, you can get a lot of really beautiful, vibrant shades. They blend together really beautifully as well um yellow is not a color i tend to go towards so usually i will try and <laughs> play with the colors that are not ones that i would gravitate towards uh you've seen in my alcoholic art it's typically the blues and the purples and whatnot that i love to work with but these yellows are really really beautiful so you can get some gorgeous effects um as well this one's a bit more muted and a bit more <laughs> what i usually tend to go towards but yeah this is a nice one too and um i do enjoy it very very much it was very affordable you get 36 shades they last so long so um uh, i would recommend it if you're looking for for something that has quite a bit of variety um and yeah i i have no complaints about them <laughs> so let's see here now these are, um, they did not come in this. This was a bag for something else and I just put them in here, but these are the mermaid markers by, hey, mermaid markers. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I think that's what they're called by Jane Davenport. These are really beautiful. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Uh, you get a good variety. And just to kind of show you this mess here so you can see um, of course, uh, these are quite concentrated and I did drop some water in here just to kind of see how they would, um, blend in. You can certainly dilute these out further to make these last longer. Um, because as you can see, uh, you know, you could go through them pretty quickly. Look at that one. So they're not the most affordable, um, they're beautiful. I love them, but I know there are um, more budget-friendly options out there, which granted I have not tried, but I did want to try a um, a brush, I guess a watercolor brush. So there's your brush. You would squeeze that and be very careful because some of them do come washing out, but you can see that there is quite a bit still on there. You can dilute that down a lot, um, so that's great, but it does come out very, very concentrated, um, but very vibrant and very beautiful nonetheless. So there are some of those darker shades there. So you got quite a nice range um, of shades in this set. I don't know if I did anything else with these markers specifically. I don't think I did. <laughs> no. So yeah, these are the Jane Davenport mermaid markers that I wanted to share. Um, would I repurchase? I don't know. This is a random Arteza filthy um, water brush bag, <laughs> but would I repurchase? I don't know. I would probably see if there was a more affordable um, alternative and look into that because I do find myself uh, gravitating towards the traditional palette um, and brushes and speaking of brushes just to kind of show you um these are the ones i use the most some of these are 
more well loved than others of course as you can see but these are mainly the Zenart and Princeton brushes there we go there's a Della Rowney in there but again you don't need to spend a fortune on brushes however there is something to be said for buying um, a brush that's a bit more costly and having it last longer than um, having to constantly replace um, you know, less expensive brushes, but again, it depends on, on you, your budget, how often you, you paint, how often you'll use them. But, um, I do, I do love these brushes. They're very easy to maintain. Uh, they work beautifully and, um, they were worth it for me, uh, because I saw it as an investment. So yeah, these are lovely, but these are mainly the brushes I use. So that's that. This video is getting too long for me anyway. Um, I just thought I would do something a little different. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll do my best to answer. Um, I think I'll probably record a separate video for the Kurataki um, paints soon um, and do a bit of swatching and blabbing <laughs> for that. So Thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.